Welcome to Morning Prayer for Thursday of the third week of Lent. Morning Prayer is a daily part of the Liturgy of the Hours, the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, Harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flocky shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. On the holy mountain is his city cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know me. Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children, and Zion shall be called mother, for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples, he writes, These are her children, and while they dance, they will sing. In you all find their home. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord God, your only Son wept over ancient Jerusalem, soon to be destroyed for its lack of faith. He established the new Jerusalem firmly upon rock, and made it the mother of the faithful. Make us rejoice in your church, and grant that all people may be reborn into the freedom of your spirit. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd he feeds his flock. In his arms he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the ewes with care. Who has cupped in his hand the waters of the sea 
and marked off the heavens with a span, who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance, who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or has instructed him as his counselor, whom did he consult to gain knowledge, who taught him the path of judgment, or showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations count as a drop of the bucket, as rust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel, nor its animals be enough for holocausts. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing and void he accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come. He will bring with him the prize of victory. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. The Lord is king. The peoples tremble. He is throned on the cherubim, the earthquakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion his footstool. He the Lord is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will. They kept the law which he the Lord had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives, yet you punished all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. God, you are the source of all holiness. Though no one can see you and live, you give life most generously, and in an even greater way restore it. Sanctify your priests through your life-giving word, and consecrate your people in his blood until our eyes see your face. Give praise to the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain. We are your people and your inheritance. Thus may your eyes be open to the petition of your servant, and to the petition of your people Israel. Hear us whenever we call upon you, because you have set us apart from all the peoples of the earth for your inheritance.
If it is by the power of God that I cast out devils, says the Lord, then the kingdom of God has come to you already. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. If it is by the power of God that I cast out devils, says the Lord, then the kingdom of God has come to you already. Christ our Lord came among us as the light of the world, that we might walk in his light and not in the darkness of death. Let us praise him and cry out to him. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. God of mercy, help us today to grow in your likeness, that we who sinned in Adam may rise again in Christ. Let your word be a lamp to guide us, that we may live the truth and grow always in your love. Teach us to be faithful in seeking the common good for your sake, that your light may shine on the whole human family by means of your church. Touch our hearts to seek your friendship more and more, and to make amends for our sins against your wisdom and goodness. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, help us to be ready to celebrate the great Paschal mystery. Make our love grow each day as we approach the feast of our salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for Thursday of the third week of Lent. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Matthew Curtis, and composer Kevin Allen. I am David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours.